Hey everyone, this is Jessie with Clay Along Creations. I'd like for you to meet Murray the Monster. This is one of my newest creations. Um, I really enjoyed making him. He's a lot of fun. Um, I think he's a cool looking creature. I think he was one of my favorites actually. Um, I did have to take some precaution working with the aluminum can because it can cut you easy, but I still enjoyed making him. It was a lot of fun to create and come up with his character. So here we go. While creating the tongue, I used an old toothbrush to kind of give it the texture that it has. And then I came back in and I used my stylus tool, the little ball tool, to give it a little bit of extra texture to give it some deeper divots in it. But it was very effective. It worked very well. Now let's talk a little bit about who Murray the monster is. Murray is a shift monster. He's kind of like a hermit crab for the monster world. He started off as small, just a fur ball under your bed. Then as he grew and evolved a bit, he needed something to help him, you know, be a little bit more stable. He needed something to give him some body. So he kind of wiggled his way over to an old sock that was under your bed. And this worked out well for a minute, but it didn't really have that stability he was looking for. Um, after a little while of trying to make that work, he decided to leave the home of his sock and move on to the next thing, which was an old book. Now the book worked well because it could open and shut and that was great for his mouth, for him trying to, you know, bite and grab things as they came up under the bed but the problem was his eyes could only be on the top of the book while his mouth was on the side of the book so therefore he's just biting hairy carry at anything that came around him so this was not working out so well being that he couldn't really see what he was you know biting at so he decided to move on to the next item that he could find under the bed which turned out to be an old monster can who knows how long it's been under there. It might have been a month, it might have been a year. But anyway, he did enjoy this. This was the perfect structure for him. He ended up um, being able to see well, he could bite, and he grew really well in the can. It helped him to grow and become the strong monster that he is today. Not to mention the fact that it fit his personality, being that he is the little monster that he is, in a monster cam. Okay, so I'm creating the hands here. Um, I left a lot of this footage in because hands are kind of hard. They take a little bit of practice. They take a good bit of time to make. You, you spend quite a bit of time really trying to make the fingers right, trying to get the right um, size and the right placement for everything and make sure the fingers are proportioned right and I'll be honest with you more times than not I end up making two right hands or two left hands I don't know why I don't know what's wrong with me there's some kind of disconnect in my brain where every single time I create a character I end up making two of the same hands and that's like a waste of 30 minutes to an hour at least each hand that I make and so it's a little bit frustrating I don't know why I check it and for some reason my brain does not just say um hello the thumbs on the wrong side or your hand is upside down I don't know I don't know what's wrong with me so now that I have the fingers proportioned well here and shaped the way I want them to be I am adding small little tiny balls to each place where I feel like the knuckle joint would be. 
um, I add all these balls on and then I'll take my little rubber pointy tool thing I don't know clay shaper I think it's called and um, blend them into the clay kind of smooth them out and blend them in and make it look like bony little pointy fingers by the way the clay that I'm using is super sculpy beige it's the softer clay I prefer using this clay over any other clay this one is definitely my medium So now I'm going to take a tiny little ball stylus and put some indentions in the fingertips of his hand to be able to place in some fingernails. I'm making kind of pointy claw-like fingernails, but they're not claws. They're just long pointy fingernails. Um, and all it is is just making kind of a tiny little teardrop out of the clay and adding that to the indentions that I made with the ball stylus at the end of the fingers okay y'all I don't know what the names of tools and stuff are but I'm using this pointy tool that looks something like what a dentist would use um, to make some lines and some details in the knuckles throughout the hand <music> Okay, now I have both arms done and both hands and I baked them in the oven at 275 for about, I don't know, maybe 20, 25 minutes. Now I am adding some eyes and what you see me putting on here is called Sculpey Bacon Bond. The white stuff, it's kind of a glue, like a clay glue. It bakes hard. It's liquid clay, basically. I'm using a large ball stylus to poke out like indentions to put his eyeballs in um, this is just some white clay i'm going to flatten the clay um, the white clay so that the irises can fit in there a little bit better these irises i found online just i just printed it out online some neat little eyeball irises on a free printable on top of that, I use glass cabochons to make my eyes. Um, the neat thing about these are when you make eyes out of them, the eyes will follow you. No matter which way you turn it upside down, sideways, look from the side, look from the top, the bottom, it don't matter. The character will be looking at you. It gives them more of a lifelike character to me. I enjoy, I use pretty much in every one of my creatures and characters, I use the glass cabochons to make the eyes. I am giving him, it's not really hair, I guess it's just sludge coming out of the can. I don't know, it's whatever you want it to be, but I'm giving him some 
extra little detail here part of it is to cover up the hole in the can so that it doesn't cut people who handle it and then part of it's because he just needed a little extra funk it's his sludge it's his slime i guess coming out of the can anyway i enjoyed doing this it's just long um teardrops of clay that i'm adding to the top here once i get all the pieces on there the way i want it i'm going to use my clay sculpting tool to create this texture to give them this um, lines and stuff in it i like using the clay sculpting tool because it's soft and it bends and it gives it a lot of um almost a fur like texture but i was going for more like sludge now that he's created and baked it's time to paint i start with the very basic black just plain black for the first layer um, i actually build this up into several layers i do very very thin layers um, it looks a lot better when you paint with very thin layers on this clay. So I do very thin layers of just black to start with until I completely cover all the clay. Once I get the coverage that I want, it's time to add some details. I mixed up a green that looks like the color of the M on the monster can and I'm doing what's called dry brushing over top of the clay that's already painted black. This basically is a very very little bit of paint on my paintbrush and I just kind of let the texture of the clay grab off what paint it wants to. It just kind of sits on top on the raised up edges of the texture of the clay. When I'm satisfied with the way he's painted, I mixed up some epoxy resin um, and this has a double purpose to it. Number one, I wanted him to look slimy and slobbery looking um, because he is a monster. And number two, it gives it a hardened effect. It'll definitely um, protect the aluminum from cutting people. Um, whoever handles it can handle it safely because the epoxy resin will definitely um, make those edges a lot more easier to handle on the teeth area, the mouth area. And also it keeps the clay um, preserved well. It'll make it to where the clay is a whole lot more sturdier. Epoxy resin has kind of a hardened plastic feel to it so it it preserves it well. And here is Murray completed. So remember, next time you're sloppy and leave your stuff laying around, you may end up with a Murray up under your bed. So keep your mess cleaned up. And next time, come clay along. <laughs>